Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Terry McFadden. And I'm Lauren Moss. The long arm of the law will be laser focused on the stop arms of school buses over the next few weeks. At least that promises to be the case in areas that have received SAVE grants. 16 News Now reporter Mark Peterson is standing by live to explain what SAVE stands for. Mark. It stands for Stop Arm Violation Enforcement, and because of the grants in places like St. Joe County, uh, there promises to be a lot more of it. Tomorrow I'll be out looking and helping with the Stop Arm Violation. A $25,000 grant will pay for police overtime at a half dozen departments in St. Joseph County, up to 140 hours worth of overtime, so officers can specifically watch for school bus stop arm violations. And stop when that arm starts to come out, those lights start flashing red. Because if you don't, you're going to see one of our officers out there working this overtime, and they're going to write you a ticket. So they're not going to, uh, there's a zero tolerance for it right now. Passing a school bus recklessly can be treated as an A misdemeanor with up to a year in jail and a 90-day license suspension, a stern warning to all shortly before the buses hit the road. You know, it's a misdemeanor offense. So, I have, you know, uh, eight points on your license, you know, that's a big deal. Uh, it's not a joke anymore uh, But passing a school bus. Penn Harris Madison one day had more than 73 violations. So, uh, but there are buses out there, and some of those passed on the right side of the actual school bus while it was loading or unloading. So, you know, so yeah, it happens a lot more than people think. The only time a driver can legally pass a school bus with its stop arm down is when they're on the opposite side of a divided highway where the lanes are separated by a concrete or grass barrier. The money is going to be divided by the uh, South Bend, Mishawaka, and St. Joe County Police Departments, along with departments in Lakeville, uh, New Carlisle, and Walkerton. Also, the Sheriff's Departments in Fulton and Marshall Counties got in on the grants. Mark Peterson, 16 News Now.